Jesus, fuck. Have you heard about knocking? Anyway, I guess it's time to start playing some Hearts of Iron 4 if you're already here. Regarding knocking, this does remind me of my grandmother. God bless her soul. She's still alive, but whenever she would come to my room, she would be kind enough to knock, but she would knock at the same time she would open the door. Like, you couldn't even process that someone knocked because she would just knock and immediately clamp down and open the door. I sure hope I started recording. Yes, I did. Perfect. I love myself. <laughs> Best joke I told all year. We have been playing a lot in the Balkans lately. This way, the, like, the, the, so, the, now, now. Well, <laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> I guess I have a streamer light now. <laughs> That's how this works, right? <laughs> anyway, we've been playing a lot in the Balkans, so we're just gonna stay in the Balkans and play my favorite Balkan nation. Duh. Where is it? There's my favorite Balkan nation. Actually, Romania is fun. But funnily enough, Romania is in a very weird spot where the one path that they have is super fun. You can, of course, play the other paths, but um, if you do that, you just get fucked over by your allies. So, instead, we are going to go for a Balkan dominance. We don't really have manpower right now, so let's go for the royal dictatorship. Do we have... Uh, we do have a silent worker so I can't get the better conscription law just yet. Research basic stuff. Even though we will be going to war early and a lot. Ah, let's just let's just go with Sweden that way. Nobody will stab us in the back until the I was about to say Balkan DLC. The Nordic DLC. Lots of guns, please. Now we will have to deal with the game. So we'll just I said we'll have factories. We won't have Factories. Yeah, that's just two factories. I don't think it matters what we build. <laughs> Once we have you no longer, limit conscription, revise the constitution, saves us a little bit of PP on the workhorse. Man, the flexible foreign policy. It's so cool. I wish more countries had that. Because you could just like you you could just join the Germans and then you can stab them in the back and join the communists. After that, you can join the allies. Like, it's just so cool. It's not really useful, if we're being honest. It's just cool, man. The king can just spend however much money as he pleases. That was not grammatically correct. I don't care. <laughs> right now, I just... Uh, I don't care. <laughs> it's late. Uh, it's late. I'm not drunk. Oh. It would be so cool to be drunk right now. That way, I'd have an excuse for my behavior. <laughs> Oh, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Help! Army XP. Let us get a horse division. No, that's not a horse. No, that's not a horse. That's an instrument. Yeah, let's just go for bulk of dominance and then start working on these focuses. Producing a few of those horses. You lord can stop training. I'm gonna convert you all. There we go. We have a jillion divisions. And now we can transform you into Divisia de Infanteria. And soon we won't have any manpower anymore. We do have a bunch of troops that might scare them. But if you look at those troops, none of these boys have guns. There we go. We got hungry as a puppet. Uh, get you. I hate that you have to close that window every single time. Oh, partition of Yugoslavia, right. That one is cool. That one is cool. Wait, you even get a war goal against Turkey? I didn't know. I didn't even remember. There we go. I think because I just have this big of an army right now, even though it's a trash army, they're just scared. One thing that's so fun about this Romania path, if you look at it, you need two focuses, or one, you need one focus, and then you can already start expanding. That's so cool. A point pro access government. <laughs> That's insane, the IRA! Needless to say, I failed my reading test in grade school. Sure, you only get 5% uh, research speed, but you get fighter attack and cast attack? That is the best aircraft designer that you can imagine. Next, I think I'm just gonna split Hugo here. Usually you invite Hungary. I know if you invite Italy and Romania, that's the best outcome because Germany won't take anything and you can just 
get Romania. But I mean, you do have Ungarn. But we also need the political power. But I also want this guy. Honestly, we're not... I don't think there's a time limit on this. Let's send our army over here. Maybe that's gonna convince Mr. Benez to change his mind. Oh, I want this state. This is big. I mean, it's just Bosnia. It's not gonna cause problems. Ah, oh, that looks good. My units are moving. There we go. And we have Slovakia. <laughs> we... <laughs> we made Germany weaker. <laughs> he doesn't have a core on the Sudetenland. Our empire only grows larger. Just look at this. There hasn't been an Anschluss yet. And we already have Hungary, Bulgaria, Slovakia. And if I did everything correctly, we will also have Yugoslavia. There we go. We can invite Italy. And then uh, let's... Boom. We got all of it. We got all of Yugo. <laughs> the borders can be improved, to say the least. I do want to release Hugo. Italy will just gobble up a little bit. Germany will gobble up a little bit. So instead, I will just... Okay, nobody wants to give me manpower. Right, I forgot. Bulgaria is crippled, Hungary is crippled, and Slovakia doesn't have any manpower to begin with. It's just like this, 2k. <laughs> I remember this event, but I still just love it. Hungary asks us, their overlord, if they get the right to rearm, but they also ask Czechoslovakia, which doesn't exist anymore, and Yugoslavia, which doesn't exist anymore. But I'd still just like to get political discourse going, and then the referendum into better conscription law, which again, very expensive. Honestly, this might be weird, but I'm gonna bank the PP from the focus instead. Just because it's Turkey, they might do some shenanigans. There we go. Kodranyaoyu is our guy now. But let's call in Bulgaria and just auto this. This is the complete opposite of the Bosporus paths. It's 1938 and we are the Balkans at this point. Italy hasn't even taken Albania. I immediately declare war on Turkey. We can just then just start deleting a bunch of these divisions. We also need to call you in and you in. I think I'm gonna join the Germans, which, yeah, mistake. I don't have my puppet forces anymore. He does like Turkey, interesting. Pretty much we just need to break through once. Ah, uh, reinforcements. Reinforcements everywhere. Great. Now everybody's stacked here. Uh, I'm just going to cycle out a few divisions here. Let's do something like this, I think. Why is Turkey being smart? They're really not retaking their land. I guess we can call the Germans in, but like, I don't want to. Anglo-Polish alliance? I feel like that's the first time that I saw this event. I hate invading Turkey. Yes. Amazing. You stay here as well. Yes. I did the thing that you're supposed to when you're fighting Turkey. Honestly, I'm just gonna send you here. Three divisions in Istanbul might be able to break through. They just keep on cycling as if it was a tour de Istanbul. Let's fall back. Surely the Turkish won't see this coming. You don't really have divisions here. Okay. That's strange. Okay, that is strange. They should have like 20 divisions left at this point. Yeah. The only sad thing is Romania doesn't have a formable. I feel like that's a bit of a missed opportunity, you know? I feel like you could do some fun things with that. Even if it's completely stupid, like... <laughs> You could just reform Rome as Romania. Okay, once again, we are going to puppet Turkey. With that, we have done all the expansion that we can do. I don't need those divisions anymore. Iron Guard, then we can go for a forced abdication, which does mean we lose out on his stupid lifestyle. And well, I mean, we do lose consumer goods and PP because he's just gonna take all of the Romanian money that we have in our banks, but we won't have to worry about him spending money anymore. Also, I think it's time for an agent because I have a feeling somebody will come knocking for something very soon. Italy, what are you doing? It's 1940, you already lost Albania. Ah, it's, it's so refreshing to play in the Balkans and you don't have some crippled debuffs. Like, you just have an army. You don't need to fix it. Uh, granted, you can't really improve it either, but uh, something I'll take at the very least, I guess. Wait a minute! Oh, fuck you, Hungary! Where's the Dalmatia? Why'd you give it up? I was considering getting Dalmatia, getting claims in Dalmatia, just so I have the coastline. 
I hate you, Hungary. Can I recruit again? States Luxembourg. Why? We will not give up our fight without a territory. Funnily enough, they do get a war goal against me for once. Okay, let us get a collaboration government going. Okay, they are actually going in. Ah! I shall reload. I'm gonna call in all of my puppets, except for Turkey. Alright, they can get a little bit of war score. Oh my god, they're gonna attack. I forgot. I forgot they're idiots. The Soviets are not attack- No! I didn't plan on that. I only planned on them attacking me. I didn't plan them not attacking me. Barbarossa, I guess. I guess I can just join the Soviets now. <laughs> uh, we've not really killed a lot of Soviets, even though that was by its circle. That should get a lot of points from, or, I mean, decent points from occupation. Wait, how do we have so much? We've not done that much damage. Honestly, I'm gonna keep you two here. I don't wanna bother with Crimea. It's just such a hassle to attack and defend. Just like real life. Nuclear reactor construction speed, that's why. Our actually pushing decently. I guess they don't have that many troops on my border? Because the Germans are dealing all of the damage. No, no, that doesn't look that much different. I guess I just have better pushing divisions. Oh my god, what just happened to our steel? Huh, I guess we already have all of the Soviet steel. Ooh, can I take Moscow? That would be amazing. That would mean I get points. Desperate charge for Moscow. I think I'm just gonna try and break through the Caucasus as I usually do. Mussolini, Italy. What are you doing? Thankfully, I'm not that dependent on Italy right now. Just because this path is genuinely good. So if Italy caps, that's... Uh, but I don't really care. If I had to take the Soviets out on my own, I could probably do it. I, I mean, I can do it. It's just gonna be very grindy and I'd have to fall back, let them push me, go to a scraping the barrel, barrel probably. I mean, all that itself is fine enough. TBH, TBH. Take Penza, Lokda. It's just supply hubs everywhere that you could just take. King Michael's coup, which does mean now we can just join anybody, but I don't really care that much about my ideology anymore. For I have ascended. You may now call me Buddha. pro allied government and the important thing, constitutional guarantees, 5% factory output, agent forced into hiding. In that case, wait, completed as well. Okay, that means we have 90%. Wait, why? Also, why can't I do it anymore? Oh, I know why I can't do it anymore. Oh, that coup came at a bad time. I just... I just forgot that Democrats are not allowed to have collabs. It's just a shame because we would have had 90% collab govern- collab, 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 collab? I can still become communist, but I would- uh, then I would lose the factory output. Her. Come on, we're getting D-Day'd. Push a little bit into the Soviets. The huge problem is just all of this that I need to garrison. 9k. Ugh. I doubt believe I can make some small pushes. Okay, you just potentially sack this. Yep, you just sack that one. You're just not- oh, come on, there's nobody here, just walk in there. Legit, I'm just gonna send four divisions up here. Stockpiles are slowly recovering. Oh, come on, just let me go in there. Just one undersupplied division. I just wanna encircle those divisions, man. And uh, now we just need to connect Kirov to another railroad. The port was worth it for its, its doubts seems that we can push it. Uh, just use auto push because we do have supply up here and I don't want to micro that. Oh, another supply hub just for me. Oh, the Soviets are gone. They... Oh, right. I forgot we are fighting a war here. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good indeed. And the Russian Empire joined the Allies. Reichskommissariat Muscovien. For what I'm gonna do now, I will need all of my puppets divisions. Thankfully, I have a lot of them. <laughs> 128 divisions. That's pretty good. I guess I could have taken the cheaper army leader thing. Focus. I will just pretend I got it earlier. I now can do the special Romanian thing, which is join to truces. Oh, because of Russia. You are in position. You are in position. You are in position. And then we shall join the allies. No! All of my... I hate this bug. I hate this bug so hard. Oh, they are not at all the way I wanted them to be. Everyone is just scrambled. Honestly, doesn't really matter that much. Oh fuck, forgot about Japan. Well, I mean, the 
allies should just start flooding into my land. I do have a lot of land. Wait. <laughs> I do have a colony and a Reichskommissariat. This is great. This Hearts of Iron thing. It looks like the Germans did not see the stab in the back because we're almost at the gates of Berlin. Bloody Monday. Ooh. No, oh, I have German box. Time to take Mimel. Whoa, we got kicked? Oh, fuck you, UK. No, Greater Albania. The only piece missing in my Balkan domination. Jesus. Fuck, what is this supposed to be? You just cripple yourself and then you leave the allies? Oh, it's it's over. Uh, mm, uh, mm, mm. Please, stop. UK, UK. It's Tanatuva for fuck's sake. Why are you defending it so... You really... <sighs> Fine, take Tanatuva. I hope you're goddamn happy. I just... You wanted to take Tuva over anything, but you still left the Germans alive. God, those are my worst borders. Those are the worst borders I've ever done. Okay, that's a lie. I do implore you to try this path. Genuinely, I really like it. Like, you just get to do things so early, which is very unusual. And if Paradox ever touches this focus tree again, I fear this is gonna be remedied and you'll just have to wait five years because they're gonna give you some infighting in Romania and then you also have to spend PP so the Germans don't puppet you and PP for or the Russians and they'll invade you regardless. Work complete. You're still here. How did you even get in here in the 